Welcome to August Lico Challenge. Today's problem is longest palindrome. Given a string which consists of lowercase or uppercase letters, find the length of the longest palindromes that can be built with those letters. This is case sensitive, so capital A and A is not considered a palindrome here. So we can just assume that every character, uh, uppercase and lowercase, are going to be different characters. All right, so the first thing we want to think about is, all right, well, what's a palindrome? A palindrome is essentially a string that's going to be a mirror image of one another inside the middle. So if you think about that, that would mean for something to be a palindrome, there have to be at least two of those characters. If we had two Cs, then that's a palindrome with a length of two. If we had four, that would be a palindrome like the four, because CC is one, the character on the left side, and CC is the character on the right side. So the only exception to that, though, is the character in the middle. We might have a character in there, we might not. But that character in the middle could doesn't need a mirror image of, of itself. That could either uh, that could be on its own. So knowing that, we can kind of think about how we could use the odd and even counts of all our characters to get our maximum output. Because we don't need to build the palindrome itself. All we care about is the maximum length of the palindrome that we could build. All right, so the first thing we want to do is start by building a counter object, and that's going to give us the counts of every single character in our string. So simple enough, we'll initialize our output starting with zero. So what can we do? Well, here's going to be my approach. Like I said, the only exception to that pair principle is the one odd character, uh, that one character in the middle, right? So as soon as we find a value, a counts of a character that's odd, we could increase our output by that, by that number. And once we found an odd length or an odd character, then we can no longer add any more of these single characters, right? So what I'll do is set a flag that says odd found, start with false. And we'll say for uh, counts in, let's say, c.values, we're first going to check if our odd was found. Uh, otherwise, let's first start off with, like, if we haven't found our odd yet, right? Well, if the count is even, then we still haven't found an odd number. So what we'll do is just increase our output by the total count here, because it's odd, we can add all those characters into our palindrome. Otherwise, it's odd, so we will maybe it's one, maybe it's three, whatever it is, we've found it, so we'll increase our count like that, and we'll say, okay, odd found is now true. Uh, this might be a little redundant, but uh, forget it for now. And so after we found our odd, now we can no longer add characters that have one, right? We can add characters that have other odd numbers like three, five, but we can only add up to the lowest even number. So if we had found now like three C's, we can add two of those, but one of them we can't. Uh, so just if we want to do this straightforwardly, we can say, all right, if count is greater than one, and if count is even, then we could increase our output by the count. Otherwise, it's not even, so what we'll do is increase it by count minus one, because that's going to be uh, the next or the lowest even number. So once we finished that, we can return our output. So let's make sure this works. Uh, this is kind of the straightforward, think about it like brute force method, and it totally works. It's accepted, and it's actually not bad in terms of time complexity. But let's try to optimize a little bit. Like, do we really need to have this odd found flag? Like, is there another way we can use a logic to do this? And one way you can do that is forget all this. We could, in order to take care of those uh, characters that only have one, we could say, well, why don't we divide it by two, get the floor of that number, and then multiply it by two again. And that's going to give us the both the lowest even number and also it's going to allow us to not count up ones. So what we'll do then is we'll say, all right, I'll put increase it by our count 
divided by two, but make sure to do an int here. So that's going to give us the floor and we'll multiply that back by two. Now, the only exception to that is when there's that first char odd character, right? So to take care of that, what we can do is um, divide our output by two. And if this is even, then we could still add one of those odd numbers. So if our um, count is even, or I'm sorry, if it's odd, then we will increase our output by one. So that would be it. That, that would be all the logic. So let's make sure this one works. So it, it's still the same principle. It's just that it's condensing a lot of the things together. And there we go. This is accepted. And I will consider this the optimal solution. All right. So that should be it. Hopefully that kind of explains the approach to this problem. So thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.